Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be doing an Ivanova build. Um, just general thoughts on her, how you should mod her, you know, use her, is she worth the resources and all that sort of shit. So first of all, she looks pretty cool. Easter Bunny theme. Um, collateral 2, always fun to have. Now her adrenaline rush, points of pound of flesh, sorry. Then an attack of 350% damage, up to two targets, that's pretty good. This character gets 50% of them, max AP. Now, that's actually pretty fucking good, because... Every other turn, she's pretty much getting her AR. If you have a few commands in the team, she can go a lot faster. And with collateral, um, you can do some good damage, some really, really good damage. Now, I will say, if you do have that promo weapon where it's, um, I think it's a Kukuri, I think that's how you say it, where you could do double attack, that weapon is going to be the best on her. But obviously, I don't have that, so we're going to be going in with a more free-to-play version. Now, this is how I modded her. I got attack, attack versus yellow, because obviously yellow v yellow, sort of nulling each other out, not much damage. Now I got attack versus blue. Now you're probably wondering why do I have attack versus blue? Mainly because I see a lot of yellows on defense. I don't see a huge amount of reds and greens. So I was like, eh, fuck it, we'll throw on a blue. Just against Alice, Frost, whatever it might be on defense. And then obviously you need crit damage as a given. And then the last slot can really be whatever you want, but I just put stun resist on there because I don't think I really need anything in particular down there. Now for skills, um, it's a little bit difficult considering the military supplies are so short. But what I did do was I did crit damage. I maxed that out uh, just barely. So 20% crit damage multiplier, which is very nice, means when I crit, I do a lot more damage. Um, obviously, if I could, I would upgrade agility as well. And obviously, written in blood is very good as well. But obviously, don't have access to that at the moment, so it is what it is. Now, her adri uh, sorry, her myth, well, her active skill, uh, attack an enemy for 100% damage. This character gets 20% uh, attack up and 20% crit for three turns. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just whatever. Now, for her weapon, uh, obviously, I didn't keep that shit that was bound on her weapon. I instantly swapped that bitch off. And what we'll be using is actually this. So, 46% attack. Earl fucked me on that one. Surprise, surprise. Very large to AP when attacking. 8% uh, because obviously, you know, extra AP. It's always nice to have. And a little bit of extra HP. And then I got a crit expert or whatever you call it on it. Turns this character's base crit to 100%. So basically every single time she hits, she is critting. Meaning collateral 2 is 100% going to happen every single time I attack. Which I think is going to be the best of her considering she is a collateral 2. Now we'll move on to the team build part of the video. While we're using multiple teams and going over my reasons for using which tunes and how I'm attacking. Okay, on to the next bit of the video. It's this team we're going to use first. Standard, testing 35, then you got the... um. The 100% crit expert, then you got strong attacks on Wayland, splash damage on Sandy, and then 1535 absolute defense axe on Kelly. Now, here we go. So, pretty standard defense, got standard weapon. So, we'll use Ivanova first, and then that's pretty good damage, you ask me. And then, obviously, we don't get another splash there, which is unfortunate. And then, come turn two, we can use the, um, the active skill there, and then pretty much just finish up like that so this team not really anything special it's purely just uh have fun it's a splash team now we'll go in one more time this team and then see 100 percent of the time it's gonna splash see and then a double splash kind of fun team nothing too crazy and it does finish fairly quick although these aren't exactly great teams um so yeah it's not bad it's not great it's just a fun team. Now, I will be showing you some more, uh, a faster team after this. But when we use faster teams, it always comes with the risk. If it doesn't end fast, you're fucked. Like, you're really, really fucked. So, we'll do a few more raids with this team. And then we'll swap over to the other team. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I'll cut now. And then, we'll come back when we find an actual team. Okay, so we found a good team. Sort of a good team. It's a Glen lead. Um, also, speaking of a Glen, uh, 65%, I think 65% or six, plus 65 crit could be good with Ivanova, although you don't get any damage increase, so you'd have to be wary of that. But it would help her crit a lot more. Same with Sandy and everyone else on your team. So there's another option for the team. So what in God's name is this? Right, and then down the middle. So it does do good damage. It is really good damage, I must say. But, would I use her on, like, 
my main attack team, maybe I would have to do a bit more testing and I would sort of need some extra characters to help me out. But, you know, she's not horrible. So, as you can see, double splash can be fun. Javier lead might be fun as well. So, we go down the middle and then, yeah, even with 50% um, debuff, it's still not doing anything to my team. It's still completely rolling. So, yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll move on to the next team because I I think I think we're going to have much more results um, with this team. So we'll swap to the main the other team now. Standard team 1535. I've noticed still a crit expert. Tyrese has an 8% and the rest of the team has 8%. Uh, one of the ricks has strong attacks. So uh, yeah, we're just going to go with one basic here and then we'll just go down the middle, get a good bit of damage going. Then Tyrese will get his little rush from his manic ability now we shouldn't have went down the middle first but that was my mistake um but ultimately it doesn't really matter because this team will pick it off re really really quick and as you've seen there i've never got a rush second turn but the thing is that uh, tower east just smashes through these teams very fast so we could do it one more time good bit of damage there nothing too crazy obviously if we did go damage versus red we could do a lot lot more damage there um then we want than what we did but you know it's personal choice on how you want to mod things so then we'll go over here and then we'll just do that and then yeah Tyrese would nuke everything fairly simple um, turn one team now you could say you just need Tyrese in the team now yeah that is true um, Tyrese on his own can wipe a team just because of the pure damage and yes these teams aren't exactly the best modded teams they're not exactly the tankiest teams either um, and there's lots of imperfections to this team but regardless i'm just trying to show you some different options you can use with ivanova because since she does have um splash no no sorry not splash collateral you can use it to get rid of guardian shield from marge and whatnot so there is definitely loads of different options um to make her very useful um so yeah and yes you could replace one of the ricks with um a dr stevens with the last sacrifice 10 percent strong attacks so, you get the reasoning behind it. But there's loads of different ways to use Ivanova. Personally, I think she's more of a... I don't think she's more of a damage dealer. I think if the round... If the... Sorry, if the... You know, the... The war, the battle, whatever it might be... Doesn't end on the second turn. She will be really good on the third turn. Just to clear up whatever is left. And, um... If you do give her a crit expert... Every time she hits, she's going to crit. It's going to do a lot of damage. And generally, I think it's going to do pretty good. So we'll see if we can find one more good team and then we'll see if we can um, show her real power because it's really hard like to really showcase her doing so good when there's just way better alternatives. So yellows. The, right, here's my thing. I would say Ivanova is great um, in her own respect because she can hold a crit expert weapon so she's 100% critting every single time which is a benefit over Sandy. However... Sandy is just way better. Like the damage output Sandy can do, um, it's just way bigger, and her um, active skill is way better as well. Um, so there is benefits to have an Ivanova versus Sandy, but I do think Sandy is the more dominant collateral um, character. So yeah, it just depends on how you want to use it. But personally, I do think um, you know. She's more of a support tune than an actual damage dealer. Although she does have a damage roll. So we'll go in the same team one more time. Because this seems to be the only team we're finding. And then. See the damage is good. And she is collateraling literally everything. So. You know. There is that. But overall I don't think she's more of a damage dealer. I think she's more of a support tune. So. I'll do one more team. And then. We'll end off the video with just the review of the character. Okay, this time we went with a pure, pure damage build. So, Negan, 1535. I have another 20%. Uh, obviously, you got the Doc and Rick with 8%. So then you got Yumiko, 20% Rampage. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much damage we can really do. So, first of all, we get the, uh, obviously, we get the AP going. Now, this team isn't great. It's not bad. But we'll just showcase some of the damage I don't know if we can actually do when she rushes. So, as you can see on Rush... It looks pretty fucking nice. And then we got Yumiko. Just to uh, have a little bit of fun in the background. Don't really need a second character. But 
you know, I think she's fun to play around with. So we'll go with a non-damage lead. Well, sorry, a non-defensive lead. And we'll just see uh, if she can wipe it on her own. Because obviously she does have collateral. So it is most definitely possible. And she cannot, which is unfortunate. And then, whoopsie daisy, the raid goes to shit. But that being said, we can, we can use the active skill. Get a little bit of damage there. And then Yumiko can just confound a few of them. And then it should be game over right now. Now, I'm not saying use these teams. Obviously, play around with them yourself. These are just examples of teams you can use. So, I think we hit this team before, but we'll go in again just because why not? Not finding too many too, well, too many defensive teams uh, in the region at the moment. So, you got to deal with the hand we're dealt. So, as you can see, both Yumiko and... Uh, granted, Yumiko is tier 5. No, tier 4, sorry. Um, but... Ivanova is tier 5 and she's just not being able to kill teams. Now we will swap it um, to reds this time. Just just see if we can do a little bit more damage. So we see if we can find a red real quick. There we go. So we'll throw that on. 34%. And then we'll see if we can find a, a purely red team like we just did a second ago. See if that really makes much of a difference. I couldn't find any good defenses in my uh, region. So what I ended up doing was just made a, a standard uh, friendly duel. That you might see commonly used in war and whatnot. So it's basically just a tanky build. Uh, to last as long as we can. And then uh, yeah. So I did swap back on the attack versus yellow. Just so uh, it's attack and yellow. Yellow and blue. That Ivanova has a trade advantage against. And I think for my Yumiko it is just yellow. So we'll hit on. Let's hit on Alice. Because why not. Wow that is a lot of damage. You saw that. Um. She hit for 98,000 damage. So we do have a rush again. So I don't have a Wayland. I don't have a Jesus on the team to disarm. So we will go in on. Let's go with Tyrese and hope we get a hit in. So as you can see, the damage is very, very good. So granted, it is every time I hit, is me a crit. But that being said, the damage output is pretty fucking good. For, you know, what I would consider a not damage heavy tune. I've seen her on defense with Halo, which can be very annoying. But overall, like, her damage output is very nice. But I just think at the moment, there's better characters that can do a lot more damage. And obviously, you know, you are limited by what you can bring in. Now we will um, go in against this team one more time to see if we can get her a better outcome. Okay, so we're back in again. Now, granted, everything on this team has absolute defense minus Alice. So, that hence why we're going in on Alice first. So, 16k, 15k. Not bad. Not horrible. We did get two people down to nearly, well, no health. So, it's not horrible damage. And then we'll use Yumiko um, to confound some people. And, obviously, she doesn't do too much. So, like I said, I don't really consider her a damage dealer. I like the rush, you know, I do think there is potential for her, but personally I just don't think she is fast enough or can do enough to make raids fast, well, faster for you. As you know, you got Tyrus, you got Sandy, you got all these tunes that just do so much better and do so much more. So, would I say level up Ivanova? Yes, but that is if you don't have a Tyrese, that is if you don't have a Sandy, that's really if you... Don't have many attacking tunes. Because I know she has an attack role. But personally. I just don't think she's good enough. Um, or has enough going for her. To make her viable um, on attack teams. But for defense. For the Halo act, well, the uh, Halo activation percentage chance. Not bad. Not bad. It is definitely worth playing around with. Um, so overall. I would, I would grade her like, decent. Not great. Not bad. A very okay character. She's good for getting rid of shields. Um, she can be fun in the double splash team. But yeah. She's just not fast enough. And overall I just don't think she does enough damage. For a damage dealer. So hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Discord link in the description. And uh, yeah. Peace out boys.